Hi, I'm Eric Strubble. This video is just about continuation of the design process from the first video I posted a few days ago for a contest that I'm working on. I've started out with a simple underlay showing the mechanics of the vehicle. It's a three-wheeled electric vehicle with uh, independent rear suspension. And I'm just sketching in with pencil uh, some of the form that's going to go on top of this vehicle. I need to draw the underlay first so I can get an idea of what it is my form is going to wrap around so that I don't violate the internal mechanicals too much. So I'm kind of designing on the fly. I have a good idea of what it is that I want to do. I know I want to do a laminated wood exterior for this three-wheeled vehicle. And I know I want to have a nice flowing form that sort of st starts at the top uh, where the handlebars are and comes down and wraps around the user and even allows them to sit on the same frame that shields them uh, in the front. Here I've transitioned from pencil to pen and I'm pretty happy with the form that I've created but it's getting kind of muddy in pencil and the pen will allow me to sort of come back and pull out the nice lines that I like, lay in some other hard lines for the wheels and details um, so that I can get a better idea of what the form is on this vehicle. So I like the little stance um, coming from the rear wheels and the suspension and how the wood body could kind of wrap around the suspension and give it a little bit of gesture. It's really early still in the design process and I'm making changes every day. Um, when I sit down to do a sketch I'm always thinking about what I liked about the past sketch and what could I do to make this a better product uh, for the user. How can I make it look better? How can I make it function better? And what would make it easier um, just to manufacture this thing. Uh, and I'm, those things are always going through my mind, trying to figure out um, a nice solution for the product that I'm working on. I'm just doing some simple cross hatching just to add some value to the form so that you can see how the uh, wood bends as it goes from the seat into the underside to where you might place your feet. Here I'm working on the basket in the front. I started working on the wheels but I'm having a tough time because they're so thin. So I'm going to use a little bit of marker just to darken up the wheels a little bit in the front and the back. And that's also going to help ground the vehicle. It's just a quick and easy way uh, to add some, some form. And then I'm coming back with the pen, shading it in. Adding a few highlights, making it pop, and I'm all done. That's the end of my sketch. Look for some more sketching in the next few days. Come back soon. Thank you.